We named our son, we have three daughters, we named our son Josiah Nash Russell. We named him after Daniel Nash, who was an intercessor with Charles Finney during the Second Great Awakening. Who's ever heard of Daniel Nash? It, most people don't know about him. Everybody, who knows about Charles Finney? Daniel Nash and another man, they would go ahead two to three weeks ahead of Finney's revivals in upstate New York, and they would labor in intercession to win the battle in the heavenlies so the word of God would go forth in power. Finney goes, I didn't need his preaching or his theology. I just needed his praying. And he said he would always walk in on the very first night. Nobody ever saw him. He was hidden. He would walk in on the very first night. He would look at Finney, completely drained of color. And this is all he would say. The Lord has come. And Finney goes, I never knew a time he was wrong. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of souls swept into the kingdom when the Lord has come. When the combine harvester has been released in upstate New York. I got so touched by his life, me and my wife, we named him Nash. And on March 16, 2013, at nine and a half months, I'm in London, England. She takes kids to see family in Arkansas, lays them down for a nap. He doesn't wake up. And we enter into the most bone-crushing, earthquaking season of our whole lives. And the Lord of all places of therapeutic Psalms took me to Psalm 2. And Psalm 2 is about the devil's rage over Jesus' inheritance. And the Lord taught me how to pray in that season. He says, when you see rage, chaos, and confusion, come out of the swirl and make eye contact with me. And there's two prayers I want you to get. Number one, you are my beloved son. You're my boy, and I'm with you. And number two, you see the nations raging, Jesus? Ask me for them, and I'll make them your inheritance. And the Lord taught me, your greatest places of warfare are to become your greatest places of inheritance. So 2015, I'm praying, God, what's my inheritance? I know my marriage. I know my family. I know it's generations. But God, what is it? And it was in that season that a friend of mine sent me a dream. And in the dream, the church was under siege. Cultural wars were increasing. And the church began to realize, we don't know how to pray in these days. And I walk into the dream smiling. Saying, these are the days we've been waiting on. And my friend began to prophesy over me in the dream. And he said, Corey, for every one voice of awakening, I'm going to raise up seven voices of intercession. And he said it again. For every one voice of awakening, I'm going to raise up seven voices of intercession. And he says, I've given Lou Engle the Nazarites. But I'm about to raise up Nazarites. And the Nasserites will be a hidden army of intercessors. They may not be known in the eyes of men, but they're going to be famous in heaven. And I'm going to hear their prayers and I'm going to hear their cries. And I'm going to send revival in their day. And I got that dream and I said, God, give me 100 million Nasserites. for global outpouring of the Spirit. For the gospel of the kingdom to touch the four corners of the earth. 